Ethel Kennedy, a revered advocate for human rights and the widow of Senator Robert F. Kennedy, passed away at the age of 96, leaving behind a legacy of compassion and resilience that touched the hearts of many. Her death on Thursday marks the somber closing of a historic chapter as she was one of the last living links to the iconic Kennedy family, a dynasty that has profoundly shaped American politics and public life for generations. A funeral is planned to celebrate her extraordinary life, a testament to her unwavering commitment to justice and equality. In a moving tribute to their beloved matriarch, her grandson, Joseph Kennedy I.I., announced her passing in a heartful post on social media. With hearts full of love, we announced the passing of our amazing grandmother, Ethel Kennedy. She died this morning from complications related to a stroke suffered last week. Joseph shared, his words captured not only the profound love and respect the family held for Ethel, but also the significant impact she had on their lives and the world at large. Ethel's story is one of triumph over tragedy, as she navigated immense joy and heartbreaking loss throughout her life, embodying the very essence of strength and resilience. The announcement of her passing was made by her grandson, Joseph Kennedy I.I., in a heartful post on social media that resonated with profound emotion. With hearts full of love, we announced the passing of our amazing grandmother, Ethel Kennedy. She died this morning from complications related to a stroke suffered last week. Joseph shared, his words encapsulated not only the deep love and respect the family held for Ethel, but also the significant impact she had on their lives and on the world at large. Her absence leaves an indelible void, a testament to the love that surrounded her and the legacy she forged. Ethel's life story is a poignant narrative intertwined with both immense joy and heartbreaking sorrow. Born Ethel Skakel on April 11, 1928, into a wealthy, devout Catholic family in Chicago, she grew up in Greenwich, Connecticut, enveloped by privilege and the values of compassion and service instilled by her parents. Despite her affluent upbringing, Ethel was never one to shy away from using her status for the greater good. This sense of purpose and commitment to social justice drew her to Robert F. Kennedy, whom she met in 1945. Their connection blossomed into a deep love that would anchor their lives through tumultuous times. They married in 1950 and embarked on a journey that would see them become one of the most influential and admired power couples in American history. Together, they navigated the complexities of public life and personal challenges, all while raising a large family. Ethel was not just a supportive spouse. She was an active partner in Robert's political endeavors, embodying the spirit of the Kennedy legacy. Their home was a bustling hub of political activity, intellectual discourse, and heartfelt compassion, where they welcomed friends and supporters from all walks of life. However, their lives were not without tragedy. The assassination of Robert in 1968 shattered Ethel's world and left her to grapple with the loss of her husband and the burden of raising their eleven children alone. This heart-wrenching moment defined the rest of her life, yet Ethel faced it with remarkable grace and resilience. Instead of retreating from public life, she dedicated herself to carrying on her husband's legacy through her advocacy work, founding the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Center to champion social justice issues that her husband had passionately supported. Her activism extended beyond the borders of the United States as she traveled to various parts of the world to fight for human rights and social justice, leaving a lasting impact on countless lives. Ethel's unwavering commitment to her faith and the principles of equality and justice made her a beloved figure in the eyes of many. Even as Ethel faced the heartbreak of losing two of her children, she remained a beacon of strength and inspiration for her family and the nation. Her ability to rise above personal tragedies and continue her advocacy work is a testament to her character and spirit. Ethel Kennedy's legacy will endure not only through the lives she touched, but also through the powerful example she set for future generations, demonstrating that love, resilience, and compassion can triumph even in the darkest of times. Their lives together were filled with both political triumphs and unimaginable tragedies. 
Ethel supported Robert through his roles as Attorney General during his brother John F. Kennedy's presidency and later during his own presidential campaign. However, in 1968, Ethel's world was shattered when Robert was assassinated during his campaign for the presidency. Pregnant with her 11th child at the time, she was by his side when he was shot in the kitchen pantry of the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles. The image of Ethel kneeling beside her fatally wounded husband became one of the most enduring symbols of loss in modern American history. Ethel's resilience in the face of such tragedy became one of her defining traits. She channeled her grief into action, dedicating her life to carrying on her husband's legacy through activism and humanitarian work. In 1968, shortly after Robert's assassination, she founded the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Center, an organization that would become a powerful voice for social justice and human rights advocacy. Ethel traveled the world, speaking out against racial injustice, poverty, and political persecution, often venturing into some of the most dangerous and conflict-ridden areas of the globe. Her humanitarian work was as far-reaching as it was impactful. From the streets of apartheid South Africa to the troubled areas of Northern Ireland, Ethel Kennedy's voice was consistently raised in defense of the oppressed. She was a relentless advocate for those who had no platform of their own and worked tirelessly to promote peace and equality, continuing the legacy of her husband, whose own political career had been defined by a deep commitment to civil rights and justice. Tragedy, however, continued to haunt the Kennedy family. In addition to the loss of her husband, Ethel endured the deaths of two of her children. David Kennedy, her fourth son, died from a drug overdose in 1984 at the age of 28. He had long struggled with addiction, a battle many believe began after witnessing his father's assassination as a child. Then in 1997, her son Michael Kennedy died in a skiing accident at the age of 39. Despite these personal losses, Ethel remained a pillar of strength for her family and continued to be a beacon of hope and resilience. Ethel was a deeply religious woman whose Catholic faith played a central role in her life. Her spiritual convictions helped sustain her through the many trials and hardships she faced. Her faith was also a guiding force in her work, as she often said it gave her the strength to continue fighting for justice, even in the face of overwhelming adversity. She was a woman of both public achievement and private grace, whose strength of character left an indelible mark on the world. Her dedication to social justice was not the only lasting legacy she left behind. Ethel also raised 11 children, many of whom went on to have careers in public service, following in the footsteps of their father. Among them was Robert F. Kennedy Jr., an environmental attorney and activist who in recent years has become a controversial figure due to his views on vaccines. While Ethel never publicly commented on the political differences that emerged between her son and the rest of the Kennedy family. It was clear that Robert Jr.'s stances were at odds with the values she had long upheld. Throughout her life, Ethel Kennedy remained devoted to the causes her husband had championed. She spent much of her later years at the Kennedy family compound in Hyannisport, Massachusetts, surrounded by her children and grandchildren. She was often seen at family events, offering her quiet support and unwavering love. Ethel's death represents not only a personal loss for the Kennedy family, but also the end of an era for a nation that has been deeply shaped by the Kennedy dynasty. Her contributions to human rights and social justice, along with her personal strength in the face of unimaginable sorrow, make her one of the most admired and respected figures in American history. Her legacy, like that of her husband, will continue to inspire future generations to fight for a more just and equitable world. Ethel Kennedy's life was a testament to the power of resilience, love, and service. She endured unimaginable loss but never wavered in her commitment to making the world a better place. Through her activism, her family, and her unshakable faith, she leaves behind a legacy of compassion, courage, and hope that will not be forgotten.